Hi, Kevin from Darby Training Systems. We've talked a lot, about, a lot about mobility. You need to be mobile to move, but you need to be stable to train. Mobility and stability are partners in performance. I'm going to show you a little activation drill that you can use to create some, some stability. You can set uh, a pin. Uh, you'll have to figure out which height works best for you. And all I'm going to do in this um, position here is a positional isometric. Um, we call it pit training or positional isometric training. So from this position, I simply bring my leg up and fire into that position. I can relax and fire into that position. Notice that I'm not hyperextending. It's a very stable position and I'm just firing to get my hip flexors activated. Tight hips don't mean strong hips. So this will help for uh, any type of squat patterning. Alternatively, if you don't want to use uh, this, you can use one of these uh, mini bands. We sell these on our Darby Training Systems uh, website, darbytrainingsystems.com, clicking on the store. Uh, we're amongst the lowest prices that you'll find on the internet. So from this position, if I'm going to uh, use my uh, activate on my left hip, I step on it with my right leg. I put the band. The closer to the knee, uh, the more resistance you'll get. If you put it uh, higher up towards the hip, it's not quite as effective. So keep it somewhere uh, close to the hip here. What I suggest you do is you pull that knee up, hold that position, and then let go and hold that for three, two, one, relax. Again, pull that up. Let go, hold the position, three, two, one, relax. And a final time, pull it up, hold the position, three, two, one, relax. And that will really get the contralateral glute firing and that hip firing, gets you ready for any type of um, activity you're about to do. Remember, mobile to move and stable to train.